Hello, welcome back for worksheet 136. We just did our lesson on diphthongs and now we are going to review our spelling sounds and then read and code words with diphthongs. Starting with number one, make sure that you repeat the sound and then together we will write the letters that make the sound on the line. Number one, there are two ways to spell this sound. It is oi. Oi. Diphthong OI. Final diphthong OY. Oi. Number two. Hwa. Hwa. Combination WH. Hwa. There are four ways to spell the next sound. The sound is E. 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 Comma E. Final E. E. Comma Y. E. There are six ways to spell the next sound. The sound is k, 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 comma C, final digraph C, K, comma K, comma K, E, comma C. K. Lots of different ways to spell the k sound. Number five, R, R, combination A, R, R. There are two ways to spell the next sound. The sound is ow, ow, diphthong O, U. Final diphthong, O-W, ow. Number seven, there are two ways to spell this sound. The sound is uh, uh, U, comma, A, uh. There are three ways to spell the sound for number eight. The sound is A, 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 consonant E, comma A, final A, Y, A. Number nine, shun. Shun. T I O N. Shun. And there are three ways to spell number 10. The sound is O. O. O, consonant E comma O, final digraph O-W, O. All right, we are going to practice spelling words with diphthongs. We know four diphthongs, O-I and O-Y, say oi, O-U and O-W say ow. So we are going to spell the words and then we will put an arc underneath the diphthongs since that is how we code them. So for number 11, let's spell the word point, point, P, O, I, because oi is in the medial position, N, T, point.
For number 12, we have cowboy. Cowboy. This is a compound word. We actually have both diphthongs. So cow, ow is at the end. Cow is C O W. And then boy has oi at the end. So boy is B O Y. Cowboy. Make sure when you wrote this word that there are no spaces in between. It's one word. Number 13, let's spell the word around. Around. I hear that ow sound in the medial position. So we'll use O U. Around. A R ow. O U. N D around number 14 spell the word plow plow where's the owl sound in the final position so owl is spelled o w plow p l o w Plow. Moving back up to the top, number 15, let's spell the word coin. Coin. That oi sound is in the medial position, so we'll use oi. Coin. C O I N. Coin. Number 16, let's spell the word south. South. Here, ow in the middle of the word. O U. S O U T H. South. Number 17, let's spell the word toys. Toys. Now this word, the root word is toy. So let's spell toy first. Toy is T-O-Y, but we want this to say toys. What do we need to add to the end? S. So the oi sound is in the medial position, but the S is a suffix. So in the root word, oi is at the end. And let's spell the word house for number 18. House. The ow sound is in the medial position. H-O-U-S-E. House. Great job. Now let's practice coding and reading these words at the bottom. First, we need to look for suffixes or final stable syllables. Number 19 has suffix ing. Put a box around that. I'm going to go ahead and put my accent mark. Looking at the root word, we have diphthong ou. So the root word is sprout. Add the suffix sprouting, sprouting. This pot has flowers that are sprouting. Number 20, any suffixes or final stable syllables? Yeah, suffix ing again. Put a box around that, add your accent mark. Looking at the root word, we have diphthong O-I. So the root word is boil, boil. Add the suffix, boiling. Very good. That pot of water is boiling. Number 21 is a compound word. Let's divide between the L and B. So looking at the first word, 
The E is closed in, so we'll put a brief. B L bell. In the final word, we have diphthong O Y. B oy, bell boy, bell boy. First word is accented, usually in compound words it is. Bell boy. That is this person. The bellboy is someone you might see at a hotel. They take your luggage for you. Bellboy. Number 22 is another compound word. Go ahead and divide between the R and P. So focusing just on the first word right now, we have diphthong O-W in combination E-R. We did this word earlier, do you remember? So we have vowel O, vowel E, one consonant. We can't divide in between our diphthong, so we have to divide here. Full ow, er, flower. And then for our last word, we have closed in O, put a, a brief. Pot, flower pot flower pot. Very good. Which syllable is accented? Flower pot. The first one. Number 23 is another compound word. Divide between the P and G. So looking at just the first word, we need a K back on the C. The A is closed in, so we'll put a brief. K amp, camp. In the final word, we have diphthong OU. Ground, campground, campground. Do you see it right there with the tense? First word is accented again, campground. Number 24. Suffix ing needs a box around it. Good job spotting that. Add your accent mark. Looking at the root word, I see diphthong o y. I'm going to put an arc underneath that. Do you see another vowel? Vowel e, and we had vowel o here, two consonants in between. Split between the consonants. The E, yes, close in. Brief. N, J, O, I, enjoy, enjoying, enjoying. This girl looks like she's enjoying her ice cream. 25 has a suffix, suffix ED, needs a box. Looking at the root word, we need K back on the C. We have diphthong OI. K oil, coiled, coiled. And finally, number 26. Compound word, divide between the N and S. Diphthong O-W is in the medial position here, but it says ow still, d-own, down. In the second word, we have vowel digraph A-I. The A says its name, the I is silent. We did have suffix S. St, air, stairs. Downstairs, downstairs. Great job coding and reading all of those words. You are a diphthong master. <laughs> all right, for your homework, you have a paragraph that you need to read about Roy at school. Roy, and then answer the questions at the bottom of the page. When there is a long line, like on number one and number four, make sure you write a complete sentence for me. Start with the capital letter and end with the punctuation mark. Great job today, friends.